Shamai! It's a wet Sunday morning. School has broken up for summer, so I am a very, very happy bunny. Um, and I'm about to drive over to Neath. How do I describe this? We're, we're playing in um, a big nursing home complex. Um, Emma has organised it and she's calling it uh, a music festival. All right, it's not. It's Cool Hand Ukes are playing and there is another group. But what we are trying to do today is to set up our PA system. I've just loaded the van, which is a camper van. I'll show you in a second. Um, and then I'm going to head over to Neath unpack everything and set the PA up and the idea is oh sorry the dogs are barking the idea is is to show you guys the setup we've got for a ukulele group using a PA a mixer and a few other bits and bobs with microphones over the top so there is our new camper van um, we've had it a couple of weeks. I am loving it so far, but just to give you an idea, sorry, this is going to look a bit messy. So you can just about see all the equipment in there at the minute. We've got speakers. Jude is taking a couple of speakers as well. Uh, we've got our mixer. There are a lot of cables. I've popped a little bass amp in there and my ukuleles are somewhere over there there we go right let's get over to neath so a new camera angle because i'm driving our new camper van uh it's a mercedes vito it's not very new um but it was nice and local and it's doing exactly what we want it to do the idea being is that i can go away to ukulele festivals i've got somewhere to stay nice and cheap and quick um, and as you can see a minute ago I can put an awful lot of equipment in here so the full PA minus one speaker is in the van at the minute the one speaker's not in is the one that's sort of caught on fire last year but we've got two others so Jude is bringing those um, but I've got the rest of the PA in the new van called Vanny DeVito so as always it was a manic end of term the end of our summer term uh, with different activities and sports days and trips i did manage a ukulele day it wasn't as big as previously because uh, a lot of the kids were away on a school trip in france um, but we did manage we decided to do a play along a thon and we got through 42 ukulele songs uh, before we had to give up because our fingers got a little bit sore but it was absolutely brilliant and the main thing was the kids really enjoyed it so yeah we've had the camper van um we've had to sell the minis monty went yesterday he's got a new home up in london um other news that's been going on it has as i said it's been a bit mad we had a new kitten on friday called felix a little oh he's gorgeous a little black and white thing um so we're trying to gently introduce him to the two dogs Idris and Stan and our other two cats Wolfie and Chitter so we really have got our hands full at the minute so it's a nice welcome break to get out of the house and go and play a little bit of ukulele and catch up with the cool hand ukes so as I said it's a miserable Sunday morning when it's lunchtime now actually um, we had the most horrific rain yesterday it's still sort of drizzling and showers today originally the plan was going to be play outdoors but i don't think that is going to happen but as i said at the beginning the idea is i'm going to try and film us setting up the pa system uh, we are for the first time trying some overhead mics for the whole group rather than having lots and lots of little amps and microphones all over the place which is an absolute nightmare to try and get decent sound from um, so yeah it's going to take us a fair while to set that all up but hopefully if i get a chance i will try and explain what we're doing as i'm doing it because a lot of you have asked about setting up uh equipment pas mixers etc for ukulele groups so that is the plan today and i am now stuck behind a truck going very very slowly so we're just going to enjoy the journey
So this is where we are playing. I have no idea with the lighting and everything. Is The idea, this isn't about us playing. This is about the setup. So you're going to see us bringing all the equipment in. Jude has brought in some big uh, speaker stands so far. So here we go and I'll try and explain what we're doing as we go. So at the minute we've got my little bass amp and it's only a little one because this is a small venue and my bag full of stuffs. Next up we've got some microphones and another mic stand. Hiya Derek, alright? How are things? Fine. And two of the mics for the overhead. It's a bit Tetris like in here. I know you can't see it at the minute. So we're going to go with the mixer next. <laughs> so our big mixer coming in. So I've got a monitor speaker. So another monitor. These are, these are quite big speakers. So these will actually work as a PA speaker as well. And then the final big speaker. So these are the things that people tend to forget about. And they do take up a lot of space and a lot of weight. These are some of the cables coming in now because you'd be amazed how many cables you need for a big PA system. We're almost there. Gives me a good workout though. And I gotta say the van is perfect for carrying it all. The other box had all our XLRs and jack leads and things. This box has got all the power cables, the reels and four bars and things. And you mustn't forget the actual instruments. So I got my bass and ukulele in here because I'm playing both today. If we get the big speakers up first. Uh, one, two, three, four. Have you got enough plugs that side now? That was the thing, wasn't it? Well, we got plenty of extensions and reels and things. So we should be all right with that, I think. Can you work it? I can't see. Yeah, it. there we are. So that's the two front of house speakers. And these are extremely powerful. We won't be turning them up very much today. Then, have you got a direct output on your bass amp? Because if you haven't, we'll use this little one just as a monitor and put it through the PA anyway. Oh, to go to the PA? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. These will just go sort of like here. Oh yeah, we are, yeah, so the, the idea being is that we test and use everything today. Yeah. We've done it already, Which but is the one that I've smoked? that's in my house. I, d I haven't brought that at all. <laughs> but it's exactly the same as those. We've got four of them all together, see? Right, so monitors now are going in the front here facing back and the idea of these is that we can then hear everything that's coming out of the mixer. So this is what we're looking like with speakers, we've got, have a, I think probably put the microphone stands in next okay. and then wire it all. Okay. Power first mm -hmm. and then the XLRs and stuff into the mixer. And at that point we hope we've got enough cables. We should. Right, so this is the new bit. We've got overhead mics going in now, which we haven't done before. Um, when we're with Eucomaniacs, we plug everything directly into the mixer because we all have our own microphones in front of us. Um, but in this case, we are going to try this method today to get rid of 101 amplifiers and different speakers and everything because that's 
really hard to actually mix properly. And then I think depending who we've got and where they're going to stand, we either put this as a row like there yeah. and so I have one lot of people standing there and there or we put them at the sides. Right, okay. right where do you want the bass player to stand, Jude? Ideally as close to you as possible. Uh, yeah, I, I, and then we'll just swap then, we'll just plug instruments in and out and... Yeah, to, to my left, I think, over there. Okay. Right. Yeah. Derek, you happy with that? Yeah, I stay on the left. Yeah, because it just means we're not whacking anybody on the head either. Power in. So we've got power going to the cable, to the mixer, and power going to the bass amp. So we need one lot going roughly here for these two. And then one lot going roughly here for these two. So see if that'll stretch. If not, I've got another reel with me. So I think everything has power. Right, before we wire anything up, let's just switch the um, speakers on just to see if we've got lights. Right. Yeah. Right, and the mixer. Can you test your amp? Yeah. Right, we've got power going to the mixer as well. Okay, we, the, right, the four speakers are on at the minute just to make sure they don't start smoking or anything stupid like that. Right, Okay. that's not so bad so far. What's that, half an hour? Little tip, if you're doing, when you're doing speakers, yeah. they need to be matching cable lengths. Because it's got to go through the cable. So that's why I'm using, even though they're stupidly long, and probably don't need to use them stupidly long, because this one over this side is going to be long, it's better for the other one to be long as well. If that makes sense. test all these first then do any other microphones or instruments right in theory in theory these should now all work are we ready to switch power on it will be in a moment hang on let's switch this on first right we have power on there we've got phantom power on so yeah speakers on and hope. F 
got everything. Why am I holding my ears? I don't know why you're holding your ears, <laughs> Jude. <laughs> you expecting a man. Should we all be able to get no. ears? No. Seatback is on. Should we all be running? <laughs> Nothing's going to sound yet because we've got absolutely no volume on. Right, for a start, we only seem to have one output at the minute. Okay. Let's pull these right down. Right, can you go and test? Let's start with the two front ones. What, the, the yep. Right, what do I do? Just talk one to any, say anything you like. In day three, pedal pin, quick sight, with no dead. Yep, okay, next one. Over here? Yep. In day three, pedal pin, quick sight, with no dead. Lovely, jubbly. And then the two rear ones. Lush. Right. M, can you stand by each? speaker for a sec yeah. and can you stand by one of the monitors Derek you're on the one twos oh. <laughs> it's it's easy. yep testing one two testing one is that two. coming up there yeah. and it's yeah. coming up there yeah. okay and um, if you two move speakers now it doesn't matter which mic you speak into okay, testing one two testing one two yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there's stuff coming out of all of them. Yeah. Okay. Right, so the next thing we're actually going to do, we've, at the minute, we've got speakers all plugged in and working. We've got the monitors all plugged in and working, so all four microphones are working. And now we're going to plug in a couple of actual instruments using these, which are DI boxes, and it just means there's no worries in terms of instruments going directly into the mixer. Right, if you just gently pluck for a minute. You want this done? Go and make him a coffee, Chris. <laughs> right, that's all work. That's coming through already. How long? You're only going to the floor, by there. You're only going by there. Because we're going to put a DI box between the two of you and run the DI box over to the mixer. So if I put this in the middle of you two, Jude go into number seven, M go into number three on the one that shows the arrow, the input. So it's the right hand side on each. And I'll get two more XLRs and we're almost done. And then the last job we're doing is to run two, uh, what are they called, ukuleles into uh, the mixer we're going to put them via a passive di box so jude and emma are going to go through this and then we're also going to run their microphones their individual microphones as well right so jude you are in number five okay can you first of all test your two mics Okay, Jude? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, keep going. Lovely, all right. And Jude, your uke. Everything is working. I don't know how, but everything is working. Yeah, and can you hear yourselves all right coming through those? It should, it should all be working fine. Yeah. All my mistakes, everything. Yep, yeah, everything is coming through. Right, so this is where we're at. We've got all the equipment set up. It's taken us probably about an hour, which isn't bad because we haven't rushed to do it. So I'm just going to walk you round now what we've actually got going. And I'm going to go and start with the mixer. Okay, so we've got our um, Behringer Zenix X22222 or whatever it is, USB uh, mixer. Um, you can see on the top up here, the first four are our overhead microphones. Okay, then we're moving along slowly. We've got one, this one here is Jude's microphone, uh, sorry, Jude's ukulele. 
because I realised we've only had one space for a ukulele, so she's plugged into there. And then these two end ones, well, these two here are uh, Jude and Emma's microphones. And the very end one over here is going directly into the bass amp because myself and Derek are playing bass today. So in effect, we're using the bass amp not only to get a little bit of sound for us as a monitor, but actually going straight back in over here uh, into the mixer. And then if I scoot round the back, okay, on the inputs, so sorry, the outputs on the back, we've only got two going out and they are going to our main speakers the front speakers facing front. Okay, so we'll show you those now. Derek, give us a wave. We've done well, haven't we? Yeah. So, the top ones up here, our FBT PA speakers, all right. They are obviously pushing the sound outwards to the audience. And then, if I go this way, All right, you can see the bottom one is the input. So that one's going to the mixer. And then the output, that one is going down here to our monitor speaker. So the monitor speakers are actually pushing out exactly the same as our front of house speakers as well. Pull that down a little bit. And you can see, let me go around the back of this. You can see down there we've got a power in and that XLR is going directly into the big speaker. There are ways of actually taking the monitors directly from the mixer and getting different mixes and things, but I'm trying to keep this as absolutely simple as possible, hence why we're running from the main speakers directly into the monitor speakers. And then to where we whiz round, we've got uh, one of the main FBTs, we've actually got four of those, but one's out of action at the minute. Then we've got on the floor, down here, apart from Emma and her stunning festival trousers. We've got our monitors, then we've got these four overhead mics, which are hopefully going to pick up. There's one by there, there's another one in the back. I don't know if you can see it, just behind. All right, so there's another overhead there. Then we've got over this side, one overhead here and another overhead towards the rear because we're going to stand in two rows and they are condenser mics so they're going to pick up general sound. They're great, they use them in choirs and things and in the very, very front we've got two individual mics for Emma and, sorry, Jude and for Emma as well. And I'm just going to walk backwards a bit so you can see the full set up. It's not a massively large room, so we're going to try not to deafen everybody. Um, but yeah, that's taken just over an hour to set up, and that's only actually our third time setting it all up. So we've got half an hour before we start to play. I will show a little bit of us playing, but that's not what this video is about today. This is about us setting up. In fact, it was what the whole day was about, was us setting up the, vid setting up the equipment with our PA to use for all of Cool Hand Ukes, because this is the first time we've done this kind of setup. All right, so we've got the front of house speakers. We've got monitors on the floor. We've got four overhead microphones to pick up ambient sound or you know everybody playing and singing uh, and then two microphones in the front for the main singers we've got the bass plugged in over there running directly into the mixer and we've got one let me find it somewhere down here on the floor a di box for jude's ukulele <laughs>
So now we're just going to put it all away again. blast from the past on the right there now is my old school I went to a very very long time ago Dora Verlin taught there for a little while as well Well, that was a really enjoyable afternoon. Uh, the audience really appreciated it. We really enjoyed playing as well. Um, but the whole point of today was us setting up equipment, trying out microphones overhead uh, to see what the audio is going to be like with the whole group playing. Uh, set up and set down was a lot easier than having lots of lots of different amps and individual mics and everything like that and just generally being able to control the sound uh, was a lot easier as well now obviously until I get home and I start editing I don't know whether or not I'm even going to have a video out of it what the audio is going to be like or anything else hopefully what I did today though in terms of talking you through the setup uh, has helped uh, you know if you've got any questions or comments though please please ask because I'll probably do more videos using sound equipment in the future so what I've learnt well first of all I can fit just about the whole PA into the van behind me here and it was a lot easier getting it in and out of the van uh, than the car I say most I should be able to fit the whole PA in but I only had three out of the four speakers with me today but there's definitely a little bit of wiggle room there um, in terms of people helping it was great um, there were only four of us myself Jude Emma and Derek the other bass player and we just got on with it I think if everybody had tried to help it wouldn't have been so easy and the more we do it the more people get used to knowing what they've got to do um, yeah, I, I'm quite happy with the way that went. It took probably about an hour, hour and quarter to set everything up. We weren't rushing, and that was including getting all the equipment in as well, and a lot, lot quicker taking it all down. Maybe about half an hour to get everything down and packed away. And the secret as well is when you're packing it away, make sure you put things in the correct boxes so the next time you can just pick it up and away to go. Uh, it's surprising how many cables you need all right there are two big boxes of the cables one which has got all our XLRs in it and one which has got all the power cables and other bits and pieces because you've got to have extensions you've got to have reels 
all of that kind of thing as well as like a billion ket leads for the speakers for the amps for the mixers not amp speakers monitor speakers uh, and the mixer so just to run through the equipment once more two front of house speakers facing towards the audience two monitor speakers facing towards the band so we can hear we had four overhead microphones condenser microphones and they need phantom power they pick up sound uh, from you know a much bigger area we use two vocal mics this afternoon for Emma and Jude uh, Jude plugged her uke in and of course the bass was going through a bass amp with a direct line out into the mixer so the sort of the bass amp became a monitor for myself and Derek as well um, so we could hear what we were doing I think that's it in terms of actual equipment and then don't ask me how many XLR cables we used absolutely stacks of them way too many to count so another little cool hand ukes event always lovely seeing the other uke players from there um, and it really was a nice afternoon I do hope you found that helpful or at least enjoyed it but if you've got any comments or questions about anything please feel free leave them below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos thank you for watching